All right, hey everybody, Miku Explosion is back for more Death and Request 2. Huh? Right. Uh, uh, I have to search for any clues without Sanai as well. I buried my head in my pillow, feeling overwhelmed by everything as I began to drift off. My? I'm busy right now, so later. Eek! Suddenly, something brushed my foot. W w what? What, Roddy? There you go, climbing to my bed again. <laughs> Sorry. Sheesh, if you want to come over here, just say so. My heart almost stopped. Uh, you're so warm. So, what do you want to talk about today? Uh, I, I just want to be on your side is all. Being next to me doesn't solve the problem. I can't win without with you. Hey, my, I've always thought that L Strain was always right. But I'm starting to think otherwise. Since I've been here my whole life, I never thought if what I did was right or wrong. Well, sure, you had nothing to compare with. Even now, I think L Strain's teachings are wonderful. But I have questions about its followers, I'm starting to doubt why I believe in. My, aren't L Strain followers bad after all? My, I... I don't know what to believe in anymore. I could tell she took her religion's teachings to heart. This must have been so complicated. To have to let, let this work, which held her life together fall apart, must be devastating. On top of that, her trust in her mother was gone. She smiled, but she hid great pain behind those eyes. M my I grabbed Roddy's hand under the sheet. Any don't... Any doctrine can become corrupted by its followers. Each person creates the shape of a whole. There are kind followers like you or Bishop, as there are people with evil plans who seek to take advantage of others. Don't write off a whole faith just because of some bad apples. My, I... Well, for now, the only people I don't trust are the freaks in black robes. It's bizarre that they come and go as they please, especially since the carnival is coming up. You're right. We can't see the big picture yet, which is why we need to use caution while we investigate, right? Don't answer that. Wait, 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 wait. I brushed the tears off of Fry's cheek. I owed her for the other night. Thanks, Mai. For now, let's search for some way. We can't look back on everything once we left this town. I know. Why don't we all... Wait, why don't we all have a home together where we can play video games? Live together? Right, you and me and Liliana, the three of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Yeah, yeah, so wonderful. <laughs> you're right, you're right. For now, let's leave this town. We can think about the difficult stuff afterwards. That's the spirit, Roddy. By the way, what's a video game? You really know so little of the world, Roddy. I can only imagine what you'll think of the outside. Th that's not true. Really. Really. I look forward to your reaction. Hm. Just because I don't know what laptop is, or a signal, or video games, don't tease me. I'm sorry, just don't get so upset. I'm not upset. Roddy turned her back on me with puffed cheeks. I may have teased her too much. Once we left town, I want nothing more than to the game with Roddy. Maybe we could see that great castle in the sky. The one I saw in that Enigma game yet. I placed my forehead against Roddy's back. Her heartbeat's gentle rhythm lulled me to sleep. You're a meanie, my. I said I'm sorry. I became sleepy as well and closed my eyes. I suddenly felt how strange it was that Roddy knew so little about anything. Wasn't a little too much. But well, if she had been living in this town for a long time, I suppose that was natural. Without thinking about it any deeper on the matter, I had hugged Roddy without thinking I had fallen and had fallen asleep. Alright. Okay, so we had to go. I forget I forgot all the voices for those. Ugh, oh, I just finished reading. It was one of Colette's books. You're done already. I should take a break too. 
Col Colette was quietly reading next to me. She safe her place with a bookmark and closed her book. Yeah, good idea. Rest your eyes. We've been here for a while. I looked up and saw that both Liliana and Roddy were sleeping at the table. At the table. They've been waiting for me to finish. I felt bad. I'm sure Liliana had her eye on Roddy, so she won't get in the way. They must have fallen asleep out of boredom. I thought I should wake them so we could go back to our room, but just then, Colette started to open up. I want to be a programmer. Oh, that sounds great. It makes sense why you're studying so much. Being a programmer definitely takes a lot of work. You have the mind of it for it. You're a quick study and you know how to focus. Colette smiled at my honesty. <laughs> I still have a long way to go through. Go, though. That's a long way to go, though. Is what it is. I know it's a niche job, but if I ever make it, if I ever become a programmer, I hope I, I can work with you someday. Colette is a co-worker. Hmm. I do feel comfortable when I'm around her. We have some things in common. It really wouldn't be bit so bad. I'll think about it. But it w I wouldn't think a programmer is that niche. We have to do our best so we can stand out compared to the other people trying to become one. What? It's not a niche industry? Colette gave me a doubtful look. It's not the case here. It's a pretty big industry that everyone wants to get into. Oh, really? <laughs> I see. I see. That makes me very happy. That means the job I'm hoping to get someday has been accepted by my society. Colette being happy so about this was strange. Are programmers that rare? I figured that I figured it was a booming industry, no matter what country you're from. I'm so excited now. I'm going to stay and stay and read a little more. You go on and get those two back home. Sure thing. Don't overdo it, though. Of course, Colette nodded and opened her book up again. I really hope we can do this again together someday. Huh? Programming. I give Colette this big smile. I was glad, glad I could encourage her in her studies. I'll catch up with you in no time, I. If I ever have another sister, I hope it will be someone just like Colette. I have warm feelings in my heart as I reach for the two girls who were fast asleep. Okay, so there's that. Can't think of it. If you're the headmistress, Mitra's daughter, why aren't you staying in her room? Because I'm also a student, I have to live like the other children do. If you consider my mother's position, it wouldn't be good if she favored her daughter, right? Ah, I see. You have a point. That's why I'm forbidden to call her mother when I'm in front of the others. I need to refer to her as a headmistress. Oh, I didn't know that. I feel like I can call her mother less and less these days. There used to be a time where she would let me live in her room with her. I still called her mother then. She took me in and told me stories every night before I went to sleep. Bedtime used to be my favorite part of the day because of that. But I'm older now. She doesn't tell me stories anymore. Oh, I never knew you were once so adorable. So adorable. I'm still adorable now, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, totally adorable. I brush off Roddy's statement and Liliana suddenly took my sleeve. Um, what is it, Liliana? Well, um, next time I visit, I'd like you to tell me uh, some of the stories you know. No one's ever done that for me before. Roddy's taking about her memories. Roddy's talking about her memories. She must have put this song, put this in Liliana's thoughts. I get why she wants to experience that. She's still young. She looked down bashfully as she tugged on, on my sleeve. It was a very cute. I couldn't help but pat her head. Yeah, of course. It's it's you we're talking about, Liliana. You're always welcome here. Really? Thank you so much, Mai. St stars were twinkling in her eyes as Liliana hugged me tightly. She's such an adorable little sister. I c just can't take it. I, I can't help but be doting. Such a sweet girl, Liliana. For being so sweet, you get this. Oh, I feel so nice when you pat my head like that, Mai. No fair, I want to call too. How come you don't pat my head? 
Why don't you want to fight Liliana so bad? It's not that. I just want to snuggle with you too. Calm down already. There's no room for you. No. You can fit one more person. I mean, I think Liliana would be willing to switch places too. I'm sorry, Roddy, but please let me enjoy this for a little while longer. You've enjoyed your time with my and You've enjoyed your time with my enough already, haven't you? Come on, Liliana. It's time to switch. Those are the rules. There are no rules. Ugh. And I'm going to use force since Liliana is hugging you right now. You won't be able to move. My, I hope you're ready. Roddy jumped at me and I kept my cool and as just as quickly I picked up Liliana, rotating us both around and out of Roddy's path. Roddy couldn't stop fast enough and charge into the hallway. I felt like a Menador. Why? Did you not expect me to dodge it? You shouldn't be dodging, my love. I don't want to be loved like that. You're such a meanie. I just want you to pet me. Just pet me. That's all. <laughs> You're so funny, Roddy. I'm not trying to be funny. Roddy, Roddy, stop pounding already. I'll brush your hair after we shower later. Really? She's in a better mood already. Promise. Oh, and will you let me play with your hair, right? I can't wait to run my fingers through it. Maybe that's too kind of me. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Why? You just promised. <laughs> Roddy, you're so fun. Liliana smiled at the sight of Roddy, getting so exaggerated. Huh. I think I kind of enjoy this. Liliana smile deserves to be protected. Watching Liliana laugh and smile without a care in the world, I may have vowed to myself. Okay, so I'm going to end the day here. It's difficult to pretend that everything's normal. All I, I know all we can do is return to our normal lives until we find a lead on escaping, but... Let, well, let's try not to be stirred up, up during the day, okay? We'll get tired. Yes, we should blend into the dorm's functions. Hmm, well, let's head back to our rooms for today. Hmm? Let's... Oh. Oh. Bishop, Mistri Headmistress, and... It was rare for the bishop to come to Wordsworth. I wonder what business she has. Could it be she found out if the Black Cloak group had seen our movements from the previous days? My heart froze in my chest. Ah, you three. Good timing. I was just about to call to go call you over. Now please, greet the Lady Bishop. Hello, Bishop. Hello, hello. The people I needed to be most cautious around the headmistress and the black clothed person were right in front of me. Were being watched, was what I thought. From behind the black hood, an unusual gaze stared unwavering at me. However, I didn't want to needlessly stir things up and stand out. Until the morning of our escape plan, I had to act obedient. While being wary, I spoke to the bishop. Hello, M Lady Bishop. It's rare for you to come to the girls' dorm. Hello, my rotten Liliana. It is important matter, so today I came here to direct myself. Due to the guidance of Elstrain, Liliana, you have been selected for the all-night worship before the festival. Me? Yes, it is the most important worship in order to begin an Elstrain festival. Please do your best. Amazing. The all-night worship before the carnival is a huge role than normal. That normal he girls aren't usually aren't given. Yes, it was a div divination. How wonderful I will stay with you during the night as well. Rest assured. Yes, I'm our Lady Bishop. Liliana answered with an honest gaze. She must have wanted the answer to the great role that Bishop gave her. But I was against it. She had been attacked by a monster before during a similar ritual where she stayed overnight in the church. There's no way for the headmistress didn't know this. Liliana. My, if Lady Bishop was if Lady Bishop is with her, I'm sure she'll be fine. It was true that the bishop was kind and she didn't seem to be involved with this string of incidents until now. I will take my leave now, Liliana. Let us meet again later at the church. I wondered how the bishop was connected to the Black Cloak group. Already know a target is sufficient? 
Liliana, once you are done with dinner, make sure to prepare so that you can leave as soon as possible. I understand him, mistress. And Roddy, my, even if you're worried about Liliana, you mustn't leave the dorm like you did last time. This time we will move properly to make sure the all-night worship ends safely, so rest easy and wait for a return. Yes, I understand. And you two conduct yourself as good girls. Liliana, if anything happens, get out of the church as soon as you can, can and come back to us. Lily, my, thank you for your concern. If you tell me that, I won't, then I won't be scared. Still, Liliana, what a big role. I'm, I'm as happy as if it were me. <laughs> thank you. As expected, Roddy and Liliana showed little signs of worry and were much more on the sight of excitement. Even if it's smarter to listen to her instructions in order not to stand out, I felt an irritation at Liliana being given such a dangerous mission. I wonder if Liliana's okay. Oh, finally there are voices here. I muttered this while sitting on the edge of my bed, worried about Liliana, who was at the all-night worship. I honestly couldn't concentrate at all. Don't worry, Mai. The bishop will be there tonight to oversee the festival service. She has plenty of people to look after her. I couldn't trust said adults. Even if she is a bishop, couldn't she be deceived by wicked people? I couldn't shake my worry. You say that, Roddy, but you keep staring at the church from the window. I know worrying does me no good, but it's hard not to. Yeah. Can't it be morning already? My, once you get some rest, it'll be here before you know it. Sure, but... Liliana will come trotting through that door any second now. Uh, I don't know. My, Roddy! Liliana? Ah, uh, you scared me! What the hell is going on? Please save Sheena! Oh, no. Sheena? What happened? What? Sheena's in danger! If we don't hurry... <laughs> Calm down, Liliana. We can't do anything until you explain what's happening. Here, drink some water. Uh, thank you. After she downed the water, she was handed in one gulp. Liliana took a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Okay, wanna tell us what happened with Sheena? So, I was just at the all-night worship with the headmistress. Off offer a prayer in front of the Elstrain altar to present your body. I kept the method and state in mind that the headmistress had told me close to my heart and continued to pray. It was a few hours after that. The door fo opened forcefully and the head ma maid Shizu and a back bunch of black clothed people came inside. How dare you interrupt the all-night worship! Uh, forgive me! I have an urgent report for both the bishop and you, headmistress. What on earth could it be? I cannot speak of it here. Would you please follow me to the bishop's room? If you insist. Goodness, it better be serious enough to warrant interrupting our sacred all-night worship. Liliana, stay here and continue with your prayers. Understood? Whoa. Taking an angered headmistress with them, she's even the black clothed people went into the bishop's room. It seems some incident occurred. I continued to worship for a little while. Well, I just couldn't help but wonder about the urgent report. I felt it was suspicious, so I slipped away from the chapel and near the bishop's room. So, out with it. This better be worth it. Even if I knew it would be scary if I was found, I placed my ear onto the door. Shina Ninomiya has entered the secret house in the tourist area. What did you say? I see. She went after all. She broke her vow to me. Huh? What should we do with Ninomiya? Even now we have her under surveillance, but... If Shina has trespassed, then she is a criminal. She must be purged. I don't know if she had strict rules, even. You mustn't let her escape. I was shocked by a terrifying word and I tried to leave the area quickly. But I was scared in a panic, so I accidentally tripped my foot against the wind box near my feet. Who's there? 
I hurry got, hurriedly got back up, but I didn't have the time to return to the chapel and that as if nothing had happened. The headmistress's footsteps got closer and then... Hmm. I must be mistaken. Thanks to my quick thinking, I was able to hide in the shadow behind the door. But had I chosen to keep running away, there's a chance they would have purged me as well. I can't believe it. Liliana, I'm so glad you're safe. Uh, thanks for making it here in one piece. And I'm sorry about my mother. You've done nothing wrong, Roddy. Don't apologize on her behalf. That's right. You shouldn't be sorry. What's important now is Sheena. Liliana, you said Sheena went to the secret room? Yes. From what I understand, it is where they house Woodworth student and faculty records. Faculty, huh? Why did I exchange her why I glanced? The dorm's registry warehouse! Didn't you say it was in the tourist area? Oh! <gasps> I overheard the conversation between the faculty, and it frightened me. The headmistress and Shizu spoke coldly. It was different than usual. Either way, we need to find Sheena. Yes. I'm certain the black-robed people are there, so we should be careful. If they already have her, then all we need to do is find them. Which, thanks to those robes of theirs, shouldn't be too hard. I tried to make it sound positive, but I doubted that the wee kids could break our way through the adults. It might be necessary to think of a way to slip through between them. Alright, let's roll, you two. Alright. Don't worry, Liliana. Let's hurry to the tourist area. Okay. <laughs> oh, a save point. Well, a save point interfered, though. I think. Or no, it's over. Okay. Oh, a save point. I'm gonna save over here in case something happens. Because you never know what will happen. Oh, I think this. I think that's... Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay. I, I didn't... I didn't get a chance to return them, though. Wait, where's... The, oh. Well, there's an enemy, though, but I'm not sure how tough the enemies are. Not this way. Let's hurry over to the... Okay, so... Oh, yeah, now we know it's not the right... Not, now, we, now we know it's not... That's not the right way to go, to. I'm not sure if this has to be this has to be open though. The shopping the tourist area. That's where it is. Hmm. Just in Now I'm getting the hang of it. I'll have to remember to keep coming back to this later. Or well, I don't know. So this is the furthest I've gone, though, like. We've come to the tourist area, Liliana. Do you know where to go? I think it's even further in. Got it. Let's go in deeper. Save it time! Yeah, I think that's... Time. Because I might have to, uh, I may have to close this in, though, if we... Hmm. Just in case. My! Pack it! Fly, Roddy! Because we may have to, uh... Okay, I really hate this, those enemies, though, but... Because we might have to stop right here, though. I don't think I can go go any further though. 
I may know exactly what to do, though. My hack it. I may know exactly what to do. A shadow matter. Crap, let's run. Well, hmm. it's, not, Just in it's not even in the way that I wanted to go, though, anyway. It still plays really bit. I don't know. What's the matter, Mai? Don't what's the matter, me. Your mind's been wondering this whole time. You never know what's coming. Don't let your guard down. Sorry. Save it time. Okay, so I'm gonna save right here. Save it time. Well, I think I think I'm gonna stop here anyway. So, so that will give me an opportunity to check it out. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos. And don't forget to read the buzz to get notified of my upload. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye. You guys take care.